How many times do you think a person has to say wake up to another person that's saying wake up to even another person that's saying wake up until somebody actually wakes up? You know, in the Christian belief, as well as the Catholic and I'm sure the Jews as well, there's talk of the deception would be so great that if it were possible, even the very elect themselves would be deceived. Okay. Now, this is not a religious video, but what I'm trying to do is appeal to everyone's common sense. Because I'm sure whether people are religious or not, spiritual or not, atheists, Satanists, I don't care what theism you follow or do not follow. I'm pretty sure that everyone can see that we are surrounded by deception right now. Trickery. The white rabbit does run freely amongst us. It is the time of tricks. Tricks, tricks, tricks. And tricks are for kids. I've been watching this whole drama unfold that went absolutely haywire with the Bundy event and you know it, when taken by itself if, if you look simply only look at the Bundy event all by itself it looks like some of these rights are being trampled and there's constitutional error and we all have to fight for the right to have a right, but when you when you back away from the scene and back away a little bit in time, you start seeing a, a whole lot of other strange connections, coincidences. The lines aren't what you think they are that are drawn in, the, in this so-called sand that is ever shifting. Anyone remember how right before this whole Bundy thing went down, we were hearing about Democrats being arrested by the FBI? Remember the California Democrat that was... <laughs> involved in trafficking and guns yet he was a huge proponent for the anti-gun lobby think about all the Democrats that were just being suddenly squashed allegedly arrested by the FBI and, and public very public the whole scene absurd things I mean think about this think about this you, you, you got this Democrat out in California and he's anti-gun yet he's involved in gun trafficking and with whom? What was it the Russians? Think about how absurd that whole thing sounds. Absurd. Guaranteed to get your attention. And guaranteed to paint the Democrats in a horrible light. Guaranteed. Now we got this. I mean, there's so all. I don't want to get into the whole thing about the Democrats. Because I, I am anti political. I don't do religion and I don't do politics. I just don't do them, man. I'm just a simple, common man. Believes in common law, common sense. And everything I see around me is anything but. 
I think what we're all, I, I don't think, I know what we are all being exposed to right now is what's known as political theater. And this is political theater, theater on a huge level, a great stage. Everything right now that's going on is designed. This is all the puppet master. You know, you, you people are uh, thinking that there's a Democratic and there's a Republican Party, that there are two se separate opposing parties, when they're actually one party. It's one. Those, those lines that they, they give you, that's meant for you and for you only. Let's be honest here. There aren't Democrats and Republicans. That's just something that they give to you. Here, what flavor do you want? You want this vanilla or you want the other flavor of vanilla? Everything that's happening right now is, got, is designed so that Hillary Clinton becomes the next president. Everything. This whole Bundy event, let's think about this. There was a documentary filmmaker on the scene, Dennis Michael Lynch, on the scene. And not only was he on the scene, but now it comes out that he prevented the bloodbath. Now, is it possible to assume that since there was a documentary filmmaker there, there could have possibly been some actors around by any chance? Just possible? Because if he's suddenly the hero of the day, he saved the day. He got off from behind the camera and he jumped in there to save the day. A filmmaker from New York, no less. Then he's on Fox News. And he's basically all designed to paint the Democrats in the, in the worst possible picture. And now we got the Senate Majority Leader, Harry Reid, front center. This whole thing is a scam, people. It's a scam. You know, I was, uh, I was watching the news, and I saw this little episode that just happened recently where, a, uh, where Hillary was, was giving a speech. She was up giving a speech. And during the speech, a woman allegedly threw her shoe at Hillary Clinton. And the angle that the film the filmmaker took this image at it was at such an angle as to create the illusion that that shoe was within the immediate vicinity of Hillary that shoe was nowhere near her that was a staged event just like the Bundy event is a staged event. Just like the whole thing connected to Harry Reid is a staged event. It's to look exactly the way it looks so that you don't see the bigger picture. Even, even if you see the bigger picture, you're thinking we have to choose which devil we know best. In one sense, it's, it's, it looks simply like corruption is being exposed. And if you go a, one level deeper, it looks like a Republican retakeover of a rogue government out of control. But if you go down even deeper and realize that they are all one and the same, think people. Come on, man. The midterm elections are coming up, primaries. Think about what is going on, right? Not just in front of you, but inside your mind. Think what these fuckers are doing. They are actually climbing into your mind. I would not be surprised if everything that's been going on for years now, was designed specifically so that Hillary Clinton would be the president at a certain time in history. I, I mean, I'm sitting here and I'm going all the way back to when, when Bill Clinton was president. 
I did not have sex with that woman. Folks, there is major, major shit going on right now. And I believe it's a major error for you to feel the inclination to jump on any side. I believe that is an error of massive magnitude to be a party to any party is big time wrong because let's be honest here let's be honest we have seen way too much to trust either one of them we have a, a an african king as president the voodoo queen that might not be well there's rumors. There's rumors that that could be a drag queen in there. We don't know, and I don't care. I don't care. What I care about is what I see, and what I see is deception being poured upon every one of us. I see some decent people out there choosing a side even if they don't realize that they are choosing a side you're following into a trap they laid out the breadcrumbs and you grabbed at the breadcrumbs and you're just running with it doing the job for them spreading that virus that deception for them they're making these things so i mean think about this allegedly bundy's been in this, involved in this whole argument for 20 plus years Think about this. Nevada is, the federal government owns 80% of the lands in, in Nevada. That was in the, the, the Nevada's constitution. It was, a, it was given from the state to the government, to the feds, in return for the fed recognizing Nevada as a state. So if Harry Reid's been involved in this situation for however long and Bundy's been in an argument a fight a legal fight against this whole situation for 20 years why is it that we're only now hearing about Harry Reid's connection this is so ugly scary and ugly out of control and ugly and I feel like I'm, I'm surrounded by, by sleeping people everybody is so discontent uh, unhappy you all see the injustice everywhere you see the deception you see the illusions that you see but then you stop and you focus simply on that one illusion when it when it's just it's it's like uh somebody's cooking in the kitchen and, and you just woke up and you can smell it from your room that's where you stop you don't go further to see what's cooking you just smell it and you figure okay that's it i know i know every spice that's in that this is this is really, really huge, man. There is no parties. There are no political parties. And if they're at, when they were, when they attempted to get a, an, a another party going, it was squashed. People, please, 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 step back from this. Step back and look at it in the larger light. Start connecting the dots. Put the pieces of this puzzle together you found the piece of the puzzle and, and, and you're making it what it's not please